Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Batting nut. The pitcher. First offering on its way. Denelson Lamet comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. McMahon fields it cleanly. Throw in time at first for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Ligares. That's popped up. And Desmond will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. They trail this one, one to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Yasiel Puig. Yasiel out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Puig, a former member of the Cleveland Indians, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. And now pitch on the way. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. A solo shot down the line in right. First home run of the campaign for him, as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Well, his first home run of the season is a memorable one. As we take a look at it here, you can see that it was 50-50 if it was going to stay fair. But somehow, he wills it just enough until, clank, it hits off the foul pole for a homer. Stepping in now, the Ian back. Desmond. The first baseman. The swing and lift a ball Desmond. foul off to the left and out of play. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Dozier trying to get there. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Digging in, Garrett Hampson looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0 1. On, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Lying toward the gap in left center. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. Nice adjustment by the batter right there. You cannot fault the pitcher for going to that well again. First one he swings and misses through, and this one the batter's able to execute and drive it for a base hit. In now, Dom Nunez. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. And basically anything here will look better than what happened in his first at bat which ended in his striking out on a bunt attempt.
Now the 0-1. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Now the one and one pitch. Hampson, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a line drive, but just fouls as he just misses extra bases. Pops this one up. Tatis onto the grass. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Dahl will get there with ease as he puts it away for round number one. The so the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Now batter. That's exactly what they thoughts. wanted out of that better pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Hey, down 0 2. He better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. Do it again, I dare you. Dahl will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Padres down in order. They're down two to nothing. At the plate, Antonio Senzatella. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Antonio hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The bat. The center field. So digging in now, Rymel Tapia. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First offering on its way. And yeah, that's a fair ball lined to the right side. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now, this is the way you want to start off the series. We haven't even hit the weekend yet, and he's on the board again, this time with a double. This is going to be a good four game set for him if he can keep this up. That'll bring up Tony Walters. Liner in there for a base hit. Tapia rounds the corner and is headed home. He comes across to score as it's now a 3-0 ball game. Hey, with that base hit right now, the lead's 3-0. And the way their pitcher is going, Dero, that might hold up in this one. Yeah, and you're well aware of it, Dan, as an offense, just trying to put those extra runs across the board. You can take a look at the guy on the slab, toe in the slab. He's on fire right now. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. There goes the runner. High in the air out to center field. Ligara's on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, the right handed bat of Yasiel Puig. He's set and the pitch. No balls in one strike.
swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. 0 oh, and 2, here it comes. Line drive to center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this go. game. So it's easy to see why he said they haven't the shown much fight there. today. Maddie. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get Not something all. going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right. Thanks, Heidi. First delivery to him on the way. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Puig giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The right field One away, and here's the 2013 Weird. American League Rookie of the Year, oh, yeah. the power hitting Will Myers. First offering on its way. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. Here it comes on nothing and two. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. A hey, offense needs to check. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. Up three down for San Diego. Still down 3-0. So stepping in, Ryan McMahon. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Hey, Matty, an interesting sequence in that last at bat when he hit a home run. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Well, Dan, the sun goes down and this guy lights up right here. That's his third knock of the night. Uh, talk about having a good night. Three hits, and hey, he might have another at bat or two before this one ends. Now the skipper of the Padres is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. The windup lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. At the plate, Ian Desmond. He offers at it and sends a bouncer out to short. On to first, and how about that? He comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play ball with one pitch. Now that we don't get to see the glove tossing up, but boy, it can really help save some time, and it looks good to boot. That's smooth. So base is empty now after the double play, and next will be the speed threat, Garrett Hampson. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Myers is after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Stepping in, Francisco Mejia will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues. Up. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. 
Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. Strike one to start the at-bat. Behind 0-2 now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three no, strikeouts hat. yesterday, and here's another Go one way. today. Looks to me like oh, he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0-2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Padres leave one. They trail it here three to nothing. Drew Pomerantz will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Now at the plate, Dom Nunez. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh.